So in order to create a working drawing from a fusion model, we need to have it saved. Then we're going to go from uh, design to drawing and then drawing from design. And we can either do the full assembly or we can do visible only or select. Now I don't actually want the sphere in the, um, in the working drawing. So what I can do is select and the thing I actually want is just that base. Um, and then I'm gonna press okay. And we're just gonna give it a bit of time and you should be presented with a, a blank A3 piece of paper and one of the views of your model uh, floating around. Now we're not gonna click anything yet. So I'm gonna change the scale uh, to one to one because I know that it's gonna fit. And we're just gonna put it down there and then press okay. Okay, and you can actually see that the dotted lines are the hidden detail. Um, before I do anything about that, I'm gonna select the projected view, select this and move it up. Now some people, if you move it up, you're gonna see that view and that simply means you're in a different angle uh, called first or third angle. Now first angle is where if I project up, then I'm actually gonna see the bottom because I'm projecting through and first angle also means if I want to see the top view, then it's going to be underneath because I'm projecting through. Now, people don't tend to use that on, uh, outside of America. So in order to change that, if you just go to your profile and then preferences and then drawing, and we want to override, so we're going to click that one and we're just going to make sure it says third angle. Now I'm going to actually cancel that because I'm already in third angle. Now if you click uh, projected, the top view is there and the side view is here and my isometric view is there. Now don't worry about that overlapping and press enter. Now I can double click that and now I can actually change that to uh, be a bit smaller and I can make that shaded and then I can close it. Okay, so this is actually quite confusing because I can see all the hidden details. So if I just click that and go from that one, now I can't see the hidden detail. And this one, I'm gonna do exactly the same. And for this one, I'll leave it like that. Okay, well the next part is to do our dimension. So we just click this and we try not to uh, repeat any dimensions. So let's get that corner there. So I wouldn't do this dimension here because, well, I'm 75 already. Another thing to try and do is keep your dimensions in line. And now I want the thickness of that, but to stop it from being jumbled up there, I'm actually gonna just put the thickness here. Once I'm happy with that, then I can export that as a PDF.